Hello guys and welcome back to new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So I'm glad to announce that the Aeromatic plugin was once again updated, now it has a major update, really major, I worked an entire week on this. And starting from now it will be able to use AI model training to fine tune your uh, own models and to create your own models on your needs. So this will work as... Uh, in this description so you will see here multiple steps that you will need to do when creating your fine-tuned models on OpenAI. So first of all I need to mention that this functionality works only on OpenAI at the moment. If you use Aromatic API this is not yet added but I will work also on adding this to it. So currently only OpenAI is supported by this feature. And what you need to do is to do and also to know is to uh, fine tune a model on GPT-3 you will need a large set of data. So this data will need to be as large as possible. OpenAI recommends at least 500 rows. So a row means that a prompt and a completion, completion example for that prompt. So this is a row. So at least 500 rows should be uh, added in the data that you are uploading and based on which you create a fine-tuned model as otherwise the quality will not be so good. So I recommend even larger 3000 or 5000 rows of data as, as if you create larger sets of data then it will be of higher quality. So you will need to do some example steps. So step zero is to go to the AI model training and read this tutorial from here. You will find also this video that I am recording right now at the bottom part of this page. And uh, basically what you can do with fine-tuned models, you can add info about your company or business or info about yourself to the AI uh, content writer and people when they ask something the AI, the AI will know about you, about your company and so on. Even more, if you want the AI to respond in a certain way like uh, a film character or, or a celebrity with their own uh, words or own way of responding, then you can also use this feature as you can customize the AI to respond in a certain way to uh, to uh, meow for example like a cat when uh, it's asked a certain question or you can create create a cat AI for example and there are many many possibilities when fine-tuning the GPT-3 model. So I will be letting you to test this new feature out and in this video I will be showing you a tutorial of it. So this is what you can do using fine tuning and these are the steps. So step zero is to read and to watch this tutorial video and also be sure to check the pricing from OpenAI as you can see that they will have a different pricing for fine tuned models. Currently uh, Da Vinci usage is 12 cents per 1000 tokens compared with the Da Vinci basic model which is two cents for 1000 tokens so you will know that it's six times more expensive to use a fine-tuned model than a normal model. Okay now let us go to the step one which is creation your for your data for fine-tuning. Also just to note that Aromatic is linked in this video description you will be able to find it there. Okay, so let's continue. So step one is creating your data. This is very important as the data is the most important part of this uh, fine tuning process because the AI will learn from the data that you enter. So to create your data, the plugin has three options. So option 1A is to upload directly your data set. If you have this already done, you can directly upload it to OpenAI. Note that if you upload your dataset, you will need to 
follow some recommendations but I will be talking about this in a minute as I want to talk now about the manual entry of the data set. So you can go here in the data set manual entry and you can write a prompt and the completion. So for example, what is code revolution? And we can respond, code revolution is a software company. Okay, so note that when you enter your data here, the recommendations that apply to the dataset uploader does not apply also to this part. So you can write your prompt in natural language without any additional suffix or ending or beginning of the completion or prompt and then click save and add new. So like this, you will be able to add multiple rows and write your own data. So this can be slow. And because of this, I added the feature to download data. So like this, you will be able to download your own data and load data from file. So these are two example options, which will be very helpful. So you can choose file from here and afterwards click load file and these fields will be populated with the JSON L file that you are uploading or you can create here the data manually more responses and click add and uh, save and add new and download the data afterwards to your computer and edit the JSON L file and upload it back here and so on. Okay, so now I also want to tell you that this field will be stored in your browser's local storage. So if you go ahead and refresh this page, you know that the questions are not lost. They will be kept for you. So you can clear this data using this button. So clear data and the data will be removed. So after you have done this, um, addition so you wrote here all your data and you have much so don't write gibberish like i do now write and only correct and high quality prompts and responses because otherwise the ai will be trained like with uh, rubbish and it will not be of good quality so write here wolf like a dog and write woof woof okay and bark and we can write woof woof and note that you can add multiple prompts with the same text and you can write different completions and the ai will select one or a combination of them so like this and we can refresh the site the data is kept and now we can directly upload this data if we have enough uh, lines here then we can upload it for example to open ai directly from this field and we can select fine tune model base ada babaj Curie, da vinci and this is the uh, less expensive and this is the most expensive so let's upload it for ada model base and add a custom name and upload to open ai so we just uploaded or our first data set upload was successful and the data set will be available for checking here you can click sync files and you will see that the data was uploaded and if you want to get started creating your own fine tune, you can click create fine tune here. And I recommend uploading larger data sets as I have done here with this data.json. So I have an example data file of this uh, format. You can for search it for here. You can find an example file here. So click here. And this will be an example data file that will be uploaded. And this will work correctly on the OpenAI's training. So note that 
you will need to do if you create your own data like this using the data set uploader and you want to create manually by directly editing your JSONL files you will need to do some stuff before uploading so it is very recommended based on OpenAI's recommendation and guide found from here I think yeah this is it so you will need to high quality prompt design and uh, it is recommended that you um, data formatting so this is what I was searching for each prompt should add with a fixed separator to inform the model when the prompt ends and the completion begins so this means that these are the prompts so each prompt and this is applicable only if you uh, create your data sets manually in text editor this is not applicable in the manual entry here because the plugin will automatically make this for you and format these uh, prompts and completions and also for dataset converter which I will be talking about in a minute so if you create your own data sets note that this is a suffix an ending for each prompt and also this is the ending for each completion so this needs to be there for each and every prompt and completion otherwise the training data will not work well and the AI will not be able to create good quality results for you be sure to add this suffix this ending to each prompt that you upload so an example suffix is this for prompts and an example suffix for completions in this so this can be changed to anything but keep in mind that if you change this from the default values which are this for the prompt and this for the suffix then you will need also to go in the main settings of the uh, plugin and change the suffix for fine-tuning prompts which is default the little arrow with a space before and also change the suffix for fine-tuning completions which is three um, dash hash hashes with uh, a space before them okay so one more thing to know is that if you want to upload larger data sets then you must up you must increase your max upload size and you can check this guide to do so because usually WordPress allows a maximum of 40 megabytes or something of uploaded files and you will need to increase this if you want to upload larger files but this is optional also keep in mind that after you designed your prompts like this using this format so each line should be a JSON and in the JSON the prompt and completion should be there and the prompt should end in the same way for each prompt and the completion should end in the same way for each completion and the completion should begin with a space so these are the requirements that OpenAI recommends and also is they are applied in the plugin after this you will be able to go ahead and upload this file using the dataset uploader so choose file select fine tune go model base select the model base that you wish to use you can add a custom name and hit upload to open ai okay so after data is uploaded either with dataset uploader either with the dataset manual entry where you can also load from file or download and edit the data manually or you can upload the data from here also dataset converter which will convert your existing posts pages or products if you have woocommerce installed i don't have woocommerce active now so if you have active the woocommerce plugin products will appear also here and you can select the source of the completion so the title of the post will be set as the prompt and the excerpt or content of the post will be set as completion so if you have posts which are informative simply select here post excerpt and the titles of the post will be set and excerpt of the post will be set as a response and hit convert and if you have 
post on your site a json l file will appear here which you can download directly upload to open ai or to delete the file okay so after you uploaded your own files so let's upload here a file for example and so this data will be uploaded but this is too few too little too few lines and too little data but i upload this just an example so i uploaded this and if we go to data sets and click sync a new data set will appear which is just uploaded 23 right now also if we go and upload our own data set we will be able to use it so for example let's convert from posts and upload this also you can select model base and click upload okay so upload successful and we should have two more data sets which were just uploaded from the data converter okay so we have here these four megabytes of data we can use retrieve content to visualize the uploaded data and this is the data based on which i already fine-tuned a model and i will be able to show the results to you guys so this is the data that i have here so if we enter for example 21b 21b uh, it will respond one of these answers so this is how you will be able to make it work and to create your own fine-tuning model simply go ahead and click on the create fine-tune from here for the any of the data that you uploaded so click create fine-tune and you will be able to build your fine-tune based on an existing fine-tune model that you already built or you can simply select new model to create a new model so let's create new model and if we go to model fine tunes and sync fine tunes you will see that a new fine tune was created for the ada model that created at is right now organization status pending and when it will be switched to succeeded then you will be able to use it in the plugin so for these two models i am able to use them in the plugin right now so for example let's go to ai playground and let me demonstrate this functionality let's go to chat and if we select a model we will have also the fine-tuned models that we created available so let's create uh, use the uh, ada model that i just created and the ada model has this file as an example for its uh, fine tuning so for example let's enter dark saber so let's copy dark saber and before everything let's use the dark saber entry in the ada the default model of ada and hit submit and now OpenAI will respond like this, a stuff with a dark, vicious look about it. So this is the default ADA model. And now let's refresh this and let's change the model to the fine-tuned ADA model, which has this data about the dark saber. So this data is about the dark saber. And now let's hit submit with zero temperature, for example and we will see that it responds is a weapon and dark saber is set dark saber is a weapon so you will see that it will not add the suffixes of neither the prompt nor the completion because if you set here in the main settings of the plugin you will need to set here your completion or leave the default values which are set here by default and uh, like this so if people enter any of these prompts they will most probably get a response from the bot with the completion that you enter selected at random and uh, the ai might also combine multiple completions 
especially if you create a larger data set based on not ADA but on Da Vinci for example which is much larger and more complex and if you add your fine-tuning uh, data to it it will only get smarter okay so this is the functionality so let's go back now to AI model training and we have here our fine tunes and the model is still pending the process of the fine tuning process can take anywhere from 40 minutes for the smaller ADA models to 5, 6 or even 12 hours depending on open AI demand uh, for Da Vinci which is a larger model and yeah after this fine tuning process is finished you will be able to use the model when the status succeeded will appear here and this question mark then you will be able to use the model in any of the model selection fields of the plugin so this includes the single ai post creator the bulk ai post creator the content editor the playground all short codes so if you go here in model settings you will be able to select also the fine-tuned models which are set with the status succeeded the bulk ai creator will have also this in each and every model selector settings field the editor will be also having these new models added the playground will have also these new models added uh, and so on so yeah this is the newest functionality of the AIomatic plugin don't forget to read the tutorial watch this tutorial video understand first what you can do with this new functionality and how you can train the data that you are using this is the direct uploader board but in this case be sure to format your data using the recommendations for um, OpenAI if you set the dataset manual entry or dataset converter this um, formatting is done automatically by the plugin and you don't need to do this also afterwards go ahead and upload your dataset using this tab from here and you will get the dataset listed and afterwards all you need to do is click create fine tune from here and be sure to set new model or to select a fine tune model based on which you want to create your fine tune and in the last step you all you have to do is follow the um, progress of fine tuning by clicking sync fine tunes and be sure to click sync file to fine tunes and uh, to have the your model listed as succeeded because only when models are listed here as succeeded they will be added in the plugin for usage for model selection okay so i think that i covered everything that i wanted to talk about in this tutorial video thank you for watching until the end um AIMatic is linked in this video's description any comment like share subscribe uh, it is really appreciated if you have more ideas or suggestions let me know in the commenting section of this video it is really really appreciated and uh, yeah until next time i'm uh, going back to work as i have many more ideas for AIMatic. so this is all for today bye bye